Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Si me pueden escuchar. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, Marvin. Welcome to the class. Thank you. So we also have Juan Carlos. Well, Roberto Lemus just disconnected. Excellent. Hi, how are you? Very nice. Thank you. Excellent. Good job. So let me... Wait a minute, I need to send a message to your classmates so they know we're in the class. Wait a minute, I need to see what is this. Oh my goodness. Where is the group? Where is the group? What is the group? This is the group num letter B, right? I, I believe this is the group letter B. I don't know since how long I sent you a message. Hello, Kevin, welcome to the class. How are you? How are you? I think I'm... I am good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. I don't know if I am correct. And this is your group. Wait a second. Is this in the group that is Maximiliano, right? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Yes. We're here. Que blanca me veo con este. No te presto otra cama. Veo como fantasma. I look like a ghost. Something like that. Oh my God. I look so weird. No soy así de blanca, believe me. We are here. Uh, <clears throat> ready and waiting for you. Remember, we have classes today. Okay, hopefully they will connect to the class anytime. My God, why do I look this pale? I'm gonna do something. Okay, anyways, you guys, thank you very much for your punctuality. Thank you very much for coming to the class on time. You know that um, we're in the middle of this course. We're about to finish. So we need to be um, working and connecting to the class on time because we are in the other half of this curse. So we're gonna start today the same time we started the last class. We're gonna do a review of the section number three, right? And the midterm exam, because I hope that you finish section three by now and the midterm exam as well, because this day we're starting on section four, okay? That's what we're gonna be doing today. So um, we're just gonna do the review and then we're gonna go with that, okay? Let me see, because in the last class, I believe, yeah, so this was what we were working on the last class. It was about um, there is and there are, uh, to talk about things that exist and using uh, the correct uh, preposition, they will, or I mean the correct uh, determinant, like one, any, some, right? And all those things, when to use it with affirmatives and when to use it with negatives. So here we have the first um, activity that I suppose that you did already, that it says, take a look, a look at the map, read the questions and choose the right place according to the direction given. So this is a map that we have here. We have different places like electronics, gas station, shopping center, public library, First National Bank, Princess Grocery Store, Post Office, Electronics, Joyce Gym, and different, different things that we have here, right? So what we have here are questions, and we need to answer the questions with the correct option. So in the first one says, is there a near here? Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm and Palm Street. 
Entonces dice que lo que está buscando está in the corner of Elm and Palm Street. So what is Elm? So this is Elm. And what is Palm Avenue? Maple Avenue, I mean. So it's this, right? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they are talking about a hotel. Is that right? Do you remember? Do you do that activity? Do you do do you did you do that activity already? Yes. Okay. Next, it says, "Is there a around here? Here, there is one. It is next to Prince Grocery Store. Prince Grocery Store. So they are talking about a a bank." Excellent. The next says, yes, is the, there is, the, so siento si están escuchando como que, se escucha que están martillando algo o no? Yes. Sí, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> están haciendo unos arreglos en la casa. Okay. No, por eso estoy en un lugar diferente y me veo todo blanco. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's look at this. It says, Near here, yes, there is one. There's one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. Ma, there's one on Main Street. Let's look on Main Street, Main Street, Main Street, Main Street. So this is Main Street behind the drugstore. So where is the drugstore? Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is the drugstore? Grocery. Okay, here. So it will be one all day's department store, all day's department store. So the department store, right? Right. Okay, perfect. Wait a second. Wait, wait a minute. Deme un segundito, por favor. Ya, ya, ya vuelvo. Okay, you guys, I think ahora se ve un poco mejor, ¿verdad? I believe so. Yep. Sí. Ya no me veo tan pálida. De hecho, ahora me veo un poco más dark. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Anyways, so let's continue what we were doing. Sorry. Thank you for waiting, you guys. I appreciate it. Okay, let's continue. So we have here. Okay, so we were in the department store. So uh, here we have another one. It says there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. There is one on First Avenue and Main Street. So let's look, what is First Avenue and Main Street? Is a post office? Oh no, it's not a post office. First Avenue and Main Street, a gas station maybe? Yes. Okay, so it's a gas station. Next, five. Uh, there are some nice stores on Pine Street. Are there grocery stores? Yes. Okay. Next, we have, yes, there is, there is between the post office and all day's department store. All day's department, oh, gym, right? It's a gym. Yes. Eso solo es un review, yo espero que ya lo hayan hecho, right? Is there a, on Second Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one on First Avenue, across from the shopping center. There is one on First Avenue across from the shopping center. 
First Avenue. Shopping Center. The First Avenue. Yes. What is it? Electronic store. Electronic store, yeah. There is one on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. In the esquina of Main Street. The corner of Main Street. What? Wait a second. Um, it's in the corner of Main Street. First Avenue, Main Street and First Avenue. Main Street, First Avenue. Post office? No. What is it? The park? Payphone. What is it? A payphone. Oh, it's a payphone, okay. Oh my God, a payphone. ¿Se acuerdan cuando existían los payphone in El Salvador? Do you remember yeah. that? <laughs> and they said hello, and they said things like that. Y se pagaba el minuto que uno hablaba, right? Yes. <laughs> pues están más jóvenes ustedes que yo, ¿verdad? Porque yo no sé si me acuerdo. I remember that. Still remember that. It was long, long ago. Yeah, it was long ago. Next to the bus stops, there were payphones. Era como muy usual que cerca de los bus stops habían payphones. Yeah. Okay, is there a near here? Yes, there is one next to the gas station. So next to the gas station, we have a public library, right? Yes. It will be public library. Are there any on First Avenue? No, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. Maple Street, Maple Street, Maple Street, Maple Street. Maple Avenue. Restaurant. Restaurants. Restaurants. Okay, let's see if we got them correct. Excellent. So if you have it like this, you have a good grade. Let's go to the next exercise. And this one, oh my goodness, there are a lot. Now we're going to do them fast. Okay, so I'm going to ask some participations here to help me answer these questions. Okay, so I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to need your help. The first one is going to be Juan Carlos. Tell me what is the answer for number one, Juan Carlos. Much or many? Good afternoon. Juan Carlos Padilla. Good afternoon, Jose. Welcome. Thank you. Many noise. Many noise. Are you sure? Many noise. Yes. Okay, bueno, vamos a decir lo que el compañero diga. Luego lo corregimos si no, si no fuese así. Let's go now with Maximiliano. Maximiliano, number two, can you help me, please? Many. Many. Excellent. Number three, can you help me, please, Kevin? Much. Much. Sorry, Kevin, mi, mi internet como que falló un momento. ¿Puede, can you repeat that? Much. Much. Pueden escucharme, que siento como que me está fallando la última. Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go with Roberto Lemus. Roberto. Much. Much. Okay. Now let's go with Jasmine Pineda. Many. Many. Now let's go with. Okay, chequemos eso primero. I need to see something. Okay. Much, much, much. Okay, so here the first one. Remember that we use much with uncountable nouns. You remember that? Yes. ¿Qué son los... So, ¿Sí? ¿Ya? No sé si es mi internet, pero no se les, no se le entendió. Sorry about that. I think it's my my connection. Okay. So, what is an uncountable noun? Ahora sí me escucharon? Yes. Okay, so an uncountable noun, un ejemplo puede ser, ¿verdad? Como the water. air, the water, etc., right? So in this case, noise, el ruido lo podemos contar? No. So in that case, it's much, right? 
Solo las cosas que podemos contar individualmente sin usar alguna medida son many. Las que no son much, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue. Okay. Okay. Pollution. It says a few or a little. For this exercise, choose between a few or a little. Okay. A little. There is a little. A little. Okay. Next, number two, there are shopping centers or a few or a little? A few. few. <laughs> there are schools in the neighborhood, a few or a little? A few. A few. There is traffic, a little or a few? A little. Um, a little. Correct. Then there are traffic lights in the city. A few. A few. Do you know, guys, what is the meaning of traffic lights? It's semaphore. Yeah, correct. It's semaphore. Let's go with the next part, right? That we want, we have red, yellow, and green. Complete this part by using isn't any or aren't any. Keep in mind, count nouns and non-count nouns. Lo que venimos hablando, the same things that we have been talking about. Count nouns and uncount nouns. Taxis, so this is, an this is a count noun. So it will be there aren't any taxis or there isn't any taxis. taxis. There aren't. Aren't. aren't because it's a plural, right? Sorry about that. No sé dónde está la comita aquí. I think it's this one. Okay, yeah. There aren't any. Number two, traffic. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Oh, countable. Oh, is isn't, isn't or isn't any. any. Exactly. Isn't any. Next. There. Public transportation. Public transportation. There isn't or there are in public transportation. There if, isn't um, any. There isn't any public transportation. Okay. Buses. If you would have buses, then I can use there aren't right. But in this case, I'm using the term public transportation. There isn't any. Next, we have the number four. There parking spaces. There aren't or there isn't. There aren't. Aren't any, right? Okay, number five, then we have crime. Do you think crime is a countable or uncountable noun? Uncountable. Uncountable noun. So the correct answer for this will be? There isn't any. Isn't any. So isn't any, we're going to use it for uncountable nouns and aren't any for plural and uncountable nouns. And I mean uncountable nouns. So there we go. We got a 10 out of 10. 33 out of 33. And the last, last exercise of this one, and I have something to tell you. Tengo algo que decirle, pero se lo puede decir después de este ejercicio. Es algo que me sucedió, pero bueno. Okay, so here we have this, and it says like a story, right? Or we have a story here. ¿Qué era lo que teníamos que marcar acá? Dice, read the article, then check the things you can find in Astoria. So we needed to talk about different things that we can find in Astoria. Good public transportation. And I think we read this article. Yeah, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, we read this article. Let's read it one more time. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, my God. Okay. Astoria. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India? China, Romania, no, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood. What is Greek? Uh, Griego. Yeah, 
in neighborhood? Vecindario. Yeah. But the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and over the United States are moving in. The new residents bring many traditions. Sorry. Oh, sorry. What is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, the new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make a story a truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, say one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. In Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. What is roomy? Do you know what is the meaning of roomy? No. With a lot of space. Yeah, so the place, it, it, the apartments had a lot of space. So roomy. As one long time resident says, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Okay, so it says we need to mark the things that we can find in Astoria. In expensive store, yes or no? Yes. Yes. In apartments? Yes. Good schools? Mm, Beautiful no. beaches? No. Great no. markets? Yes. Nice restaurants? Yes. Many different cultures? Yes. yes. Interesting old buildings? No. Yes. Not. And good public transportation? Yes. 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 Good job. Excellent. You did good. Okay. So now we're going to do the midterm exam. Well, the review, because you already did this. Yo sé que ustedes ya hicieron esto, ¿verdad? So nothing new. Yeah. I don't know what happens with my camera. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Bueno, tengo una noticia para ustedes. I have some news for you. For you, okay? Pay attention. Um, Si se ve un poquito cortado mi audio, it's because of the internet. Okay, so here is the situation, you guys. La clase pasada, ¿se recuerdan de esa clase? ¿Dónde jugamos? A little. Yes. Yes. Okay, so there was a problem, un problemita. Se me perdió la grabación por un error de la computadora. Oh, no. So, vamos a hacer una clase más. Para que me salga, no salgan las cuentas de eight videos, right? So, eso significaría que estábamos terminando, ya les confirmo. Pero no importa, ustedes ganan, ustedes están ganando más que yo, ustedes salen ganando una clase más, una práctica más, una más, right? Ok, so vamos a termi terminamos el 17, pero vamos a terminar el 18. Entonces sería... Ahora eh, teníamos la clase número 9, eh, del, no, perdón, la clase 4, 5 sería hoy, pero es para la 4, eh, del día 9. Tenemos 9 y 10, o sea, hoy y mañana, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos hoy y mañana sí. clases. Luego tenemos el próximo jueves y viernes 16 y 17. Y de ahí el 18 de nuevo. ¿El 18 tiene libre ustedes? ¿Ah? ¿El 18 tiene libre ustedes? Es sábado. Ah, ok. Yes. Entonces no sale perfecto, ¿verdad? Ok. Excellent. Thank you very much, you guys. Gracias por eso. Okay. ¿Se escucha muy fuerte eso del martilleo? No. ¿No mucho? Ok. okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. So, just that. Así que, felicidades. Se ganaron una clase más. <laughs> yes. Good job. You did a good job. <laughs> Vamos a jugar Cajú toda esa clase. ¿Qué les parece? Yes. 
good. Ah, competitive. Oh my God, I can win again, dice. Oh my goodness. Humble, humble boy. Qué humildad. Okay, really humble. Okay, let's continue with the review of the final exam. So then we can go to section number four. Okay, so it says listening. We have a listening activity here. Okay. I'm going to ask for participations. We have participaciones. Okay. So let's see. So this is the audio. I'm going to share the audio of my computer. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Perfect. Let's listen one more time. Oh my gosh. Why is not loading? Let's see. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, Yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Okay, let's see. So um, I'm going to ask, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jose Araujo, where did Lisa go? What place did Lisa visit? It? Australia. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Carlos Enrique, how was the weather in Australia? Bad, bad weather. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marvin Arnoldo, where did Peter go? Italy. Italy. Italy, you say Italy? It's Italy. And Roberto Lemus, how was the weather? Okay. It was okay, right? Not good, not bad. So, okay. Not good, not bad. Excellent. Good job. Good. So, there we go. I have some questions for you. While I was listening, I was paying attention to some, to some words. Do you know what is the meaning of waves? Do you know what is the meaning of waves? Waves. Yeah. Olas. Exactly. And cloudy? Nublado. And wet? Húmedo. Yeah. Okay, let's go with the next one. It says completing the conversations. 
instructions. Complete the following conversations. You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response uh, given. You can choose among, long, good, often, and well. So <clears throat> how do you work out? What do you think is the answer? How often, how well, how, how what? How often. How often, okay. Next, do you play tennis? About average, I'm getting better and better. How? How well? How well? Well. well. Next, how do you spend at the gym? Long. 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 Long time. Long. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Next. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. In this case, was well, right? And yes. Yeah. This is long. I'm sorry. Long. Okay. How are at you? Are you at soccer? Uh, good. Family. How good? Good. Good. Okay. Next says select an option. Did you stay right? Because it's not negative. Because we have the auxiliary did right. What did you do? do? I place an affirmative. What is the past of go? Went. Went. Or really, yes, we is the past of have. Had. Had. Where you? What is the past of be? Where. Where. Where in this case, because the subject is you. I. What is the past be? What was we spend? What is the past of spend? Spend. 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 Right. Good job, you guys. You're amazing. Let's go with the next one. And we're almost done. Okay, I'm going to ask some participants. Jose Araujo, what is the answer for number one? One. Any? No, one. Oh, one. Okay. Carlos Enrique, the question for number two. Many. Many. Thank you. Marvin, number three. Much. Much? You sure? Yes. Okay. Well, okay. Um Kevin, four. Much. Okay. Um uh, Roberto. Any? Any? Any. Yes. Okay. Let's check our answers. So we have one incorrect. There are a few should be, right? Yes. There are a few. Correct. Let's continue. Okay, so we need to order the sentences, okay? I'm gonna ask participations as well. Uh, Jasmine, can you tell me what is the first sentence I order? I have often, I often watch TV after dinner. Okay, excellent. Mm, Jasmine, choose another participant. Number two? Yeah, the next participant. Oh, okay. Um, Maximiliano. Maximiliano, number two. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Okay. Maximiliano, choose the next participant, please. Yeah, <laughs> Hmm? Roberto. Roberto, number three, Roberto, please. Sorry. Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Okay, Jeff doesn't 
exercise. Very much. Very much. Okay. Okay, that's correct. And the very last one, it's a reading. It says read through Ruth's letter. Oh my goodness, this is a letter. Okay, read Ruth's letter, then check for true statements. I'm gonna give you the pronunciation of this letter and, and I'm gonna see if I can, I don't know, maybe if I open it in another tab. Okay. It's a little blurry. It's blurry, right? Yes. Beckerly, let me see if I can read it. Dear Ted, Beckerly is a great city. I really like, like it here. There's always lots to do. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love to, I love, I mean, I love the shops and restaurants and it's a great city for jogging or inline skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown to have lunch and then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watch a sports event like a football game or a basketball game on TV. I think American football is very exciting. Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. Okay, now let's be mandar un audio. I'm going to send you an audio. Okay, let's be mandar un audio para que lo practiquen, para que puedan practicar. Deme un segundo, por favor. Perdón, excuse me. Okay, I'm going to send you the audio. Eh, si alguien puede mandar la captura de esto al grupo de WhatsApp, se lo agradecería un montón, porque yo no puedo tomarla desde la máquina donde estoy. En lo que yo leo esto, please, thank you. Dear Ted, Berkeley is a great city. I really like it here. There's always lots to do. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shops and restaurants, and it's a great city for jogging or in life skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown to have lunch. And then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watch a sports event like a football game or a basketball game on TV. I think American football is very interesting, exciting. Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. Sorry, que dije eh, interesting. It was very exciting, right? Bien, vamos a practicar esta lectura para después venir a contestar las, las preguntas. Yes? Yes? Do you get it? Okay. Okay, excellent. That's the attitude. Thank you very much. Let's see. And I'm sorry about my camera, but my internet is kind of messy right now. <clears throat> Remember, you guys, everyone, we go to the breakout room so everyone can participate.
practice. How was the practice? Good. Si tuvieron tiempo de practicar todos, ¿verdad? You have time to practice all? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Creo que ya no voy a tener problemas con el internet. Hopefully. Me acaban de instalar uno de 100 megas, así que, yes. Hopefully. Porque ese internet que tenía, horrible, 20 megas, pero como que tuviera 5. My God. Okay, so let's continue. Now you have optic fever. What is it? You have optic fever. Yeah. Yes, I do. I was about to, uh, I was deciding between cable color and what is the other one? Oh, this one, Starlink. But Starlink is muy inestable cuando no hay, cuando o sea los árboles, las nubes y todo eso, ¿verdad? Y este de cable color veo que acaba de ganar el premio de internet más estable. Oh, yeah, that's, that's better. Por eso se oía el ruido porque estaban haciendo toda la instalación, pero creo que ya ahorita ya tenemos good internet connection. Ya voy a voltar el otro modelo. Mentira, todavía lo sigo pagando. <risa> atado, pero pero así como ustedes, me imagino, tienen sus machetes en sus trabajos, el internet para mí es mi machete. So, I have to, I have to. Bien, so we did the reading, right? We did the reading activity, and I hope that you, um, I don't know, it, it looks a little bit blurry, but I hope that you had, the, like, that you can understand a little bit, right, and with the audience and stuff. So we're going to answer the questions based on that reading, and I'm going to ask participants to complete those questions, okay? So the first question says, um, okay, so we're going to guess if it is true or false. True meaning verdadero, right? And then false. So, number one, uh, can you read it and tell me if it is true or false, please, Carlos Enrique? He walks down Telegraph Avenue every day after class. It's true. Excellent. Thank you very much. Carlos, can you choose the next participant, please? Roberto. Okay, Roberto, read number two and tell me if it is true or false. Roberto? It's false. Oh, but can you read it, please? Si lo puede leer, Roberto, can you read it, please? The question. He meets he meet her friends for coffee in the evening. It's true or false, you say? It's false. False? Okay. Can you choose the next participant, please, Roberto? Juan Carlos. Okay, Juan Carlos. Uh, false. No, but can you read the sentence, please? Okay, okay. She sometimes dance to live music. False. Okay. Dances. Can you say dances? Okay, dances. Okay, excellent. Juan Carlos, can you choose the next participant, please? Kevin. Okay, Kevin. She enjoys going to San Francisco on the weekend. True. It's true. Okay, excellent. Kevin, can you choose the next participant, please? Maximiliano. She doesn't like inline skating. False. Rose. Maximiliano, can you choose the next participant, please? Jasmine. Okay. Jasmine. Okay. She goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturdays. Is true. Okay. Can you choose the next participant? Creo que, creo que ya vamos a empezar a repetir. But can you choose the next participant, please? Mr. Mm. Carlos.
Okay, Carlos. Uh, she played tennis with friends every Sunday. It's false. Okay. I mean, Carlos, can you choose the next participant, please? Mm, I think Araujo. Marvin and... Who? Araujo, Jose Araujo. Okay, Jose Araujo. Okay, she likes to watch football and basketball on TV. True. Okay, sí. Excellent, good job. Thank you, you guys, for your participations. Okay, now, what do we know next? We go to the section number four. And in this section, you guys, we're going to be talking a little bit about um, adjectives. Do you know what is an adjective? ¿Saben qué es un adjective? Que describe el sujeto. Ok, exactly. So we're so describing a subject, a noun, a place. We can describe anything, right? A person. Everything that we are talking about, we can describe it, ok? So in this case, we are going to be talking about appearance, physical appearance of people. So I'm going to play a video for you so you can watch it. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about adjectives. And then you're going to have some time to describe yourselves, okay? So pay attention to this video. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair. Curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, let's listen one more time. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, Handsome, good-looking, pretty. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, so in this case, we heard some adjectives uh, and how to describe the hair, right? So we can talk about our hair. We have long brown hair, we have short blonde hair, here, actually, this is the color. You can change it. For example, if you have long blonde hair, blonde, which is rubio, you can say it here, like long blonde hair, right? I have long blonde hair, if you want to say it. short blonde hair or something like that. Is there straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, bald meaning like calvo. <laughs> if you can see, this, is, this man is a little bit bald. It has a little bit of hair around like the ears but that's it and a mustache mustache do you know what is a mustache bigote exactly a mustache and be how do you say this beard beard okay so you know it is very difficult because sometimes a pajar it's the same right it's kind of the same pronunciation then we can talk about the age if you're young if you're middle age if you're elderly Hmm. What do you consider yourself to be? Uh, when you say middle age, that meaning what? like a uh, adulto, like middle age, the, from thirty, the, lo consideramos de treinta. Okay. En adelante, de 30, it can be like thirty to fifty or sixty. ¿Hasta dónde consideraría un un adulto ustedes? Hasta fifty or sixty. I think 60. 
50 yeah. to 60. 50 to 60. Yes. Y lo demás es John. Yes. Ah, vaya, pues vaya. Vamos. So we're gonna say from zero, desde cero hasta 50, okay? From zero to 50, John, okay? Okay? Okay. And then from 50 to 60, middle A. And then, yeah, like around the 70, elderly, right? <laughs> yes. And then we're going to use handsome, good looking, and pretty, right? That's to describe people as well. And then the height, like meaning um, how, how tall or how short are you? You can say short, fairly short, like pequeño, pero no tanto. Medium height, estatura mediana. Pretty tall, or, or average, ¿verdad? Estatura como promedio. Pretty tall, bastante alto, or very tall. So, what do I want you to do right now? ¿Qué quiero que hagan ahorita? Vamos a hacer, vamos a escoger un adjetivo de cada bloque para describirnos a nosotros mismos, ¿ok? So, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna choose one of these ones to describe the, the hair. Solo pueden cambiarle el color, pero depende de ustedes. One of these ones para describir su edad. Uno de estos para describir... Uh, su, su, like, como saben ustedes, physical appearance, y esto para describir su edad, to describe your age, ok? Y me lo mandan al chat, elijan cada uno, one, uno por bloque, lo mandan al chat. Only to you or to all of the participants? Only to me, please. Ok. Al chat de Zoom o de WhatsApp. Zoom, please. Bueno, nos vamos a escribir nosotros o alguien más. No, yourself. Ahorita todo el... Ah, nosotros mismos. Yeah, 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 yourself. <risa>
Okay, I'm waiting for some. Ya me lo enviaron four people. I'm still waiting, okay? Ok, para los que ya terminaron, to talk about hair, vamos a decir I have, right? Like I have long brown hair. I have short blonde hair. Ok, I have, vamos a decir con el hair. Con el age, with the age, we're going to say I am, ok? I am. I am young. I am middle age. Or I am elderly, right? Or I am old. You can say old to old. For looks, for looks, we're going to say I am as well. I am handsome. I am good looking. I am pretty. And with the height, we're also going to say I am. I am short. I am fairly short. I am medium height. I am pretty tall and I am very tall. Okay. So I'm going to start describing myself. I have... Uh, Curly brown hair. Aquí no sé por qué siempre lo ando matado. <laughs> but I have curly brown hair. Or not curly. It will be, what is the correct one for this? Short, straight, curly. Wavy, wavy, wavy. Sorry. Eso no está escrito aquí, pero se lo voy a escribir. Porque wavy es como ondulado. Wavy, okay. So I have wavy brown hair. Este es mi caso. I am young, porque dicen que como hasta los 50 llegamos. <laughs> I am young. <laughs> I am pretty. And I am medium height, I will say. Yeah, I am medium height. How tall do you think I am? I think you are like... 165 centimeter. Pretty close. Pretty close. Oh my God, Maximiliano. That was close. I'm 168. Yeah, 168. So yeah, the first time. One student told me, you seem like you are one 1.40 meters. 1.40. Like Shakira. I'm not that short. I'm not that short, okay? So what are we going to do? We're going to describe ourselves, okay? And we're going to describe ourselves to our classmates. You're going to say, I have the hair. Then you're going to say, I am the age. Then you're going to say, I am the physical appearance. And I am also the, what is the other one? The, 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 oh, the, the height, right? Short, medium, and tall, okay? Do you understand the activity? Yes. So the same that you sent to the chat, but spoken, okay? Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's go. There you have the invites. Let's go to the breaker rooms. Accept the invites.
Which one was shorter? And right now I see boys that are, are my my friends that are like 1.8 meters, 1.85 meters. So it's a little. And Bolt? I For can't... example, Robert is 1.8 but I can try to describe you. Oh. I think you are you are a medium height and yes. I I see you have a long brown hair. You look so pretty and you are very young. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Jose, welcome to the class. Jose Ramon. Polanco Gutierrez. Hello, hello. Hello, Jose Ramon. ¿Se va conectando? Oh, like, yes, yes, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to a breaker room. Your classmates are talking about adjectives, okay? Okay. Okay, there you go.
Okay, we'll get to know a little bit more about adjectives, right? And I know you were practicing in the breakout rooms. So thank you very much for that. Okay, so here we have a list of like more adjectives and it says adjectives to describe a person. So we can describe different things about a person. For example, the appearance, the hair, the eyes, the face, and the body, okay? To talk about appearance in general, we can use different uh, adjectives like this one, like beautiful, cute, gorgeous, handsome, young, old, pretty, stylish, and attractive. Stylish meaning a person that has a lot of style and the way they dress up and then they walk and everything, right? Stylish. Then we have um, adjectives to talk about hair. We have long, short, straight, listen, curly, wavy, the one that I told you, right? Wavy, blonde, black, brown, and you can say also bald. You know, that is a person with no hair or little hair. Okay, then we have adjectives to talk about eyes. You can say my eyes are big, my eyes are small, or I have big eyes, or I have small eyes. We can talk about the color of the eyes, okay, blue, green, brown, black, <clears throat> the most common colors, right? Miss? Yeah? Um, can you share on um, the PDF? Um... This is a, this is not a PDF. Um, I, I don't know, can you guys take a screenshot of this and send it to the WhatsApp group? Si pueden tomar un screenshot y mandarlo al grupo para que le quede Yasmin también, please. Because okay. I'm not, I'm, I, I don't have this on a PDF. Okay, so again, and thank you. Excellent. Done. Excellent. Good service. Cinco estrellas le vamos a poner. Then we can say my eyes are beautiful or your eyes are beautiful. Expressive. Do you know like expressive eyes? Esos ojos que le dejan a ver a uno si está contento, triste. A mí me han dicho que yo tengo expressive eyes. And then sparkling. Los sparkling eyes, usually de los enamorados, ¿verdad? Esos ojos sparkling. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Okay, so sparkling eyes, cuando le brillan los ojos a uno, right? Then we have the face. And we can talk about the face in different ways. We can talk about round, oval, square, big, small, youthful. So meaning that you have a youthful face, like a young face, that you look very young. We have elegant, we have attractive, and we have charming. Charming means, do you know, well, do you know the meaning of charming? Me encantador. Yeah. yeah. Or like with charisma, right? As well. Person that is a charming person, right? We have the body. We can say different things about the body. Fat, thin. So these are opposites, right? Fat and thin. Slim. Slim and thin, they are um, synonyms, right? We have slender. Do you know what is the meaning of a slender? Like uh, largo. Like largo? Yes. But, but it's largo or, 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 how can I say this? Fat. It says a person or a part of the body, a gracefully thing. So obviously they are slim. Right, a person that is a slender, apart from being um, long, they are thin. Okay, son delgados también, right? Then we have skinny. Skinny is a little bit more than thin and slim. No es tan delgado, okay? Del que raya de como demasiado it's, libra de amor. It's like Blanco. between thin and slender. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's different. So skinny is like a person that is, eh, está delgado, right? Flaco es más estos, ¿verdad? Like bien, bien delgado. Petite, que tiene un cuerpo bien proporcionado, right? Petite. Athletic, a person that goes to the gym, 
or practice a sport, right? Lean. Do you know what is the meaning of lean? No. I don't know. Nobody? No, no. So, in this case, I will say... Wait a minute. Because I know a meaning for lean. Okay, so adjective. Berlin, lean, lean, usually for people, especially men. So this one is especially for men. Significa que no tiene mucha grasa, que es delgado y atlético. Okay? It's athletic, slim. Pero no que las costillas, que, que dicen, miren mis músculos y se les ve las costillas. No, eso no. Eso es Como los que se ganaron la bicicleta, entonces. La bicicleta. <risa> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Not... It was a it was about a competition in the in the in the company. Oh really? He, yes, it's held in 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 the in the in October because there is the day of cancer of mama in and and what is the other? The room for the uh, I don't know what is uh, how to say cancer in English. Cancer. cancer. Uh, but it's about from cancer of the breast mass, breast cancer. The breast. And 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 for the men's I don't remember. <laughs> it, it is. Only only cancer. Only cancer. Breast Mom. cancer. Breast cancer. Cancer, mama. Okay, yes. friends, is, in English is breast cancer. So there was a competition celebrating the breast cancer day and they run and they won bicycles. Yes. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Interesting. Is there anyone in this group who won a bicycle? No. No, but no. My, my people in is <laughs> the, the most participant group. Okay. So you are in the most participative group, Carlos? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so in your team, there was a person who won a bicycle? Yes. Oh, excellent. Okay, excellent. So those people, like Jasmine said, that maybe they are lean, right? Lean. Okay. It's very, very, very slim and tall, the guy who wins the bicycle. Really? Yes. It's tall and slim? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he's a slender, a little bit of a slender. Mm, okay okay excellent and the last adjective we have is curvy do you know what is curvy <laughs> oh. con curvas peligrosas right <laughs> curvy is a person who is a noise um curvy like um how can i say this no es gordo Es bien proporcionado, right? Que tiene piernas, que tiene 90, 60, 90, right? Like, like people say, right? Teacher. Yeah. It, that adjective is just for women or for men too? That's an interesting question. Mostly it's used for women, but you can also talk about men in this way. But mostly women. Okay. Yeah, mostly women. But it is only for women, I think right yeah mostly and then we have this one it, it is in here but i'm gonna write it for you we have oh, chubby. Chubby. <laughs> yeah chubby, chubby is like fat but not that fat but not that... slim not skinny not fat it's chubby no está gordo gordo tampoco está delgado está como se dice en spanish rellenito right Rellenito. oh Rellenito de amor. <laughs> so that is chubby. Okay. So, th so these are more adjectives that you can use um, for describing people or describing yourselves, right? And here are some more. Okay. So to talk about faces. And we didn't talk about face. No hablamos de las, de las caras en nosotros, perdón. Uh, we have square. We have round. We have long and oval. 
en realidad hay un espectro de faces que dicen hasta triangular, de diamante, no sé qué. But, okay, we're going to learn this ones, right? The most important ones. And um, how is your face? My face, I will say, is a little bit round, but a little bit oval at the same time. My face is between these two, right? Mostly men have square faces, right? Mostly men. La mayoría de hombres son como square faces. Then I'm young. Dice Carlos que we are young until 50 years old. Yes. <laughs> Then I have um, um wavy hair. My hair is a little bit wavy, wavy and curly around that. Spiky. You look at this one. Spiky means that you have, como, como decían esto antes, pelo parado. <laughs> breeze, breeze. And you have the, the hair like that, right? It like goes up. A short, curly, medium length. Medium length meaning like you have not short hair, you don't have long hair, you have medium length hair, okay? We can talk about build or the body in general, as you said, me tall, medium high, short, fat, well built, well built. Son, son esos hombres usualmente que tienen buen cuerpo, pero no hacen ejercicio. Like, they have good bodies, but they don't exercise a lot. Tienen buena, como le dicen a esto... Buen físico, right? I don't know. Complejatura. Bueno, yeah. exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Obviously, that is mostly in the genes, right? Está en los genes. And then we have slim, and then we have skinny, right? Thing. Then, these are more, estas son más cosas que le podemos agregar cuando estamos hablando de nosotros. Freckles. So, these are the freckles, right? Beard. Mustache. Huh, this is racist Mexican. Why does the Mexican have a mustache? <laughs> goatee. Goatee is esa barbita de chivo. Goatee. So I have a goatee that is barbita de chivo. Pigtails or breads. These ones. Ponytail. Right? Ugly. <gasps> no. Why do you say ugly? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. Cute or pretty. Cute is like lindo, pero lindo, una persona linda, like como ternura. Yes, como que da ternura. Es más cute. Pretty es más como lindo de, de físicamente lindo. Attractive and beautiful and handsome. So here is the thing. Attractive and beautiful or mostly beautiful is used for women, right? For women. But you can also say he's a beautiful boy or a beautiful man. It's correct, okay? But mostly it's used for women. And handsome is mostly used for men, right? Handsome. So she is beautiful, he is handsome, yeah? So that is what is mostly used. Now, but when we talk about adjectives, we have a lot of adjectives and here is the question. In Spanish, how we will say, si decimos, yo soy alto, delgado, eh, con, no tenemos un orden para decir los adjectives. But in English, we do have an order to say the adjectives. We have an order. Porque eh, recuerden que el adjetivo se pone antes de lo que describe. Yeah. Entonces, hay una forma en que tienen que ir. There is a way that they have to go. So I'm going to show you, les voy a mostrar como un, un referente. Okay. So, el primero que siempre va a ir, the first adjective that you're going to add is opinion. Es su opinión personal. Si alguien es bonito o hermoso, eso depende de usted, ¿verdad? O si es feo, porque para gusto los colores, right? <laughs> so, you can say about this, comfortable, uh, es cómodo, beautiful, amazing, wonderful. All of those are opinion adjectives. So, those are the ones that go first. Then we talk about size, small big, right? Then we talk about shape, round, square, heart-shaped. Then we talk about age, right? New, old, young, middle age. Then we talk about color. Then we talk about ori origin, right? Then we talk about material, but in the case you have material for people, usually we don't talk about material, but yeah. For purpose, this is mostly for things or objects. And then the noun, the noun, okay? So for example, if I want to describe myself and I want to take all of these adjectives in count, I can say something like this. I am 
A, this is the determinante, ¿verdad? Determiner, the A, I am A. So I can say, I am A. Vamos a empezar a hablar de the size. I am a medium height. I think it's the height. And then I'm going to separate it with a comma. Okay. I'm a medium height. Chubby. Um, white. Salvadorian. woman. Ok. So I am describing myself. Y lo estoy, me estoy describiendo en el orden correcto. Right? So I'm a medium right. high chubby white Salvadorian woman. Ok. So it is not solo voy a empezar a tirar adjetivos así a lo loco. No voy a decir I'm a Salvadorian medium high chubby white woman. No. That is not correct. So first I go with the height. Ok. Then I go with the complex of the body or the size or the shape. Then I go with the color. What is my color? Um, for it, um, the, 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 my color is white <laughs> because the sun hates me. And then uh, my origin, which is Salvadorian, right? I, have, I was born Salvadorian and I am Salvadorian. So I am medium height, shabby white, Salvadorian woman. Okay? Quiero que me hagan una oración de esas para ustedes. Usando esos... Is it the same order, okay? Sure. Yeah? How can I say Moreno or Trigueño? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know how to say it. Uh, brunette. 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 Yeah. But let me, because Brunette. Yes, Brunette. Are you Brunette? Yes. I think like uh, Moreno. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. You can also say brown, <laughs> but brunette is 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 better. Okay. También bronceado. Alguna gente dice bronceado es como tan, t a n n e d, tan. We're going to put it in the chat. Yeah, in the chat, just for me. Uh, this year in Chubby, uh, we can use for women and men too. Uh, what right? is it? Chubby is for men and women. Chubby, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for yeah. men and women, yeah. Oh, okay. Ok, recuerden, lo último, por ejemplo, comfortable person, sería person hasta de último, man, porque person ya es un noun y el noun va de último. Entonces lo correcto sería, I'm a comfortable, medium, high, chubby, white, Salvadorian man, ok? Quitando el person y el a, person en a. 
I am a pretty tall young brunette Salvadorian man. Salvadoran. Se escribe Salvadoran. Porque vi que lo escribieron mal tres veces. I'm a tall. I'm a tall, thin, white Salvadorian man. Eso height lo quitamos. Es que medium height se dice todo unido, pero tall solo se dice tall. I am a medium high, slim, white Salvadorian women. Women? Women is plural. Woman? Okay, I'm waiting for your answers. Everybody, remember we're practicing. Okay, excellent. Thank you to the ones that sent it already. To the ones that haven't sent it, uh, please send it, okay? I'm going to go here with, wait a second. What are we? Over here. Okay, we have a conversation and this is basically the last activity we're going to do. So pay attention to this because then we can let probably. Okay, let me share the sound. Let me share the sound. Okay. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, let's listen one more time. We're just gonna listen one more time. And then I'm gonna send you the pronunciation, okay? Let's go. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Very tall. Okay, I'm going to read it for you. I hear you have a new girlfriend. Girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ash. Her name is not as he is, right? Her name's Ashley. And she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. <laughs> because it's not a good question. That's a good question. Is a taboo question? Is a taboo question? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. H H. 
it is not really important. La edad no es muy importante. A menos que usted tenga 25 y una niña tenga 15, entonces si es muy importante, piénselo. No se mete en problemas, right? Menores right. de edad, no. <laughs> so, yeah. So, PH, me. Hay gente que se ve bien mayor para la edad que tiene o gente que se ve bien joven para la edad que tiene, right? So, yo estoy orgullosa de mi edad. I like to say my age. A mí me encanta decir mi edad. Because I, I, but I don't know. Sometimes people say that I look younger than I am. A veces la gente dice que me veo más joven. Sometimes people say, si sí, me veo de mi edad. Con tal que no me vea como unos 10 años más viejo que lo que soy. <laughs> We're good. Con tal que no me digan, Miss, parece que tiene 40. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not 40 yet. Todavía no tengo 40. Right? But on hey, my T-shirt. T-shirt, please. What is it? <laughs> no. Most respect, please. No, no, no. I'm saying, yo digo que si me dicen que me veo de 40 a la edad que tengo, sí sería malo. Pero cuando tenga 50, si me dicen que tengo 40, sería muy bueno, ¿verdad? That would okay. Be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm almost 30 years old. The 40s are the new 20s. The 40s are the new 20s? Yeah. Yeah, that's what people say. Like the 30s, because I'm about to be 30. Yo estoy a punto de cumplir 30, ¿verdad? I'm about to be 30. And people say, <laughs> the 30s are the new 20s. And you know what? The, the life is beginning with 40. You know what? People say the 30s are the new 20s. But my knee doesn't think the same. <laughs> Neither does my, my back. Nah. My, my uncle, back. my uncle. Your didn't. ankle? Yes. Ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My back says, nah, you are 30 years old. Yeah, my back <laughs> says it all. Yeah, my back, my knee. Yeah, so yeah, yes, yes. Even though, but, aunque lo quiera engañar. But teacher, you are very young. I am I, young. <laughs> yes. You are very young. I'm 33 years old and I feel very old. But you're not that old. You're like three years older than me. I'm older than you, yes. <laughs> yeah, you but three years, three years. What is it? I don't know. Jasmine, how old are you? Can you tell us? Si nos puede decir o no le gusta decir la edad. It's up to you. Hello. I am 23 years old. 23? Yeah. You're younger. So, miren... <laughs> Jasmine is younger. Hay alguien más joven que Jasmine aquí? Is there is there anyone younger? Maximiliano. I, oh, uh, I was like Maximiliano. I thought he said I am younger than Jasmine. No, no. no. <laughs> How old are you, Maximiliano? I'm thirty-five. Thirty-five. Okay. What about you, Roberto? How old are you? I'm fifty. Fifty. No, you're young. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, what about you? What is your age? I have 40. You are? I am 40. I am 40. Yeah, excellent. Hector Manuel, what about you? He is 44. 44? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Juan Carlos Padilla? I am 45 years old. 45, so mostly 40, 40, around 40. Kevin? Twenty-nine. What is it? Twenty-nine. Oh, so you and I, we have, we are the same age. Yeah. So I'm as old as Kevin. Marvin, what about you? Um, thirty, thirty-six year old. Thirty-six years old. Okay. And you have a baby face, pero si usted sí tiene cara baby face, usted se ve más joven. Yeah. You, you got a baby face. If people say that about baby faces. Yeah. So we know, Jose Araujo, what about you? How old are you? No, pero se ve bien baby en la foto, ¿verdad? Jose Araujo looks like a baby in the picture, so he's a baby. <laughs> okay, so in Jose Ramon, you said 33, right? Yes. Okay, so we're not at all. We're not. We are not all. We're pretty young for 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 our time, right? I have had students who are. Yo tenido estudiantes who are. I don't know. Sixty, 
Yeah, I have party students who are 60. I have an aunt who is 102 years. What? What? 100. <laughs> yeah, I have an aunt. Uh, yeah. That is very, I don't know, this is incredible. <laughs> yeah, and she's very aware. Some of the that she's very aware of everything. So, yeah. Um, like no ha perdido la memoria ni nada like maybe it is difficult for her to walk for because you know like I told you aunque digamos que tenemos 20 la espalda ya dice 30 right so we cannot cheat with that we can say no yo tengo 25 pero ya las arrugas aunque se ponga cremas la espalda y los huesos eso right they go they go down okay so uh, we're going to practice this conversation really quick. It's five minutes. Um, no le voy a mandar pronunciation porque está fácil. Es an easy... Um, si alguien puede mandar la captura, sí se los agradecería porque no estoy en la computadora que puedo hacer eso. I'm not in the computer. So if you can send this screenshot to the WhatsApp group so we can practice this conversation, just five minutes, and then we'll finish the class, okay? Okay, there we go. Excellent, thank you.
no se oye. Yes. Okay. okay. So you guys, that was it for today, and I will see you tomorrow, right? The same. Tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow okay. at the same time. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.